All right, so jumping right into Photoshop, guys, um, you see I have an image here. Um, the problem that we're having now these days is that uh, these images are getting flagged, right? With uh, AI, Instagram is flagging our images with AI. So a quick way to see if it's going to be flagged is you go to File. Go to export, then export as. And once that's loaded up um, at the bottom here where it says content credentials, you see it says not enabled for this document. This basically means that if you were to upload this image to Instagram, it will not be flagged as a made with AI image um, because it's just a regular image that hasn't been edited with any type of AI tool. So now I'm going to show you what happens. So let's say I want to do a generative fill AI. I just want to expand the ceiling just a little bit. I hit generate. So now that that's generated, we go back now to file export export as and once that's loaded up we'll see right here at the bottom what do we see it says a content credential will be applied to this image because it was made with generative AI just for doing that little ceiling or even if you remove a blemish or something simple any AI tool that you use to do the simplest thing will be flagged which is extremely unfair because people are going to think that the whole image could have possibly been AI generated and we all know that we work hard to curate our content as creators so even if I was to undo the generative fill and I go back to file export export as it will still be flagged even though I deleted the edit that I just did it still says a content credential will be applied to this image because it was made with generative AI so even when you undo it just it flags it and it embeds the credentials into the file immediately and there's nothing you can do about it but I'm going to show you the way around it. So now let's say go back and add my ceiling again. Okay. So now my ceiling is a little high with generative fill. So I'm going to save this as a JPEG. I'm going to name this test. Place that okay so now we know that this image that I just saved has an AI flag on it again if we were to post this it's going to say made with AI on Instagram or Facebook it has the flag embedded into the metadata here so here's my little workaround um, it may work with different softwares I haven't tested it but um, anybody who uses Topaz or any other photo editing software may be able to use um, this method and it may work for you. But um, right now I'm just using Topaz Gigapixel AI. So I'm going to open um, Topaz Gigapixel or open whatever software or, or any other software that you may use for photo editing. Because what we're basically doing is that we're trying to, to rewrite the metadata. We're trying to trick the system here and get rid of that um, AI flag that Photoshop automatically does when you do any generative uh, AI uh, tools that you use. So now I'm going to open that same image that we know that was flagged, which is this here. And for those who don't know, Topaz Gigapixel AI, it's basically an, a tool to upscale images to make them uh, higher megapixel 
to do larger prints. Um, so uh, I'm not gonna do any editing to this image. This is just to show you guys. Um, so now I'm gonna just save the image. I'm going to name it. Oh, we'll just keep it as Gigapixel so that we know what it is. It's gonna go save to the same folder. Now Topaz, it's going to do its thing. Now that we have our new file that we saved from Gigapixel, which is this file here. If I open now this file in Photoshop, this is our brand new file that we just rendered out of Gigapixel with the generative AI that we added, we added to the ceiling here. So now if we go and look at our content credentials, go to file, export, export as. Now, what do you see here? It says now content credentials is not enabled for this document. So if we go now and upload this image onto Instagram or Facebook, it will not have the AI flag. So in conclusion, you have to run your edited image through another software. The second software that we use is basically going to rewrite the metadata. The computer is going to think or Photoshop is going to think that it's just a brand new image. Um, you could try it with different softwares. I'm not sure it's going to work. It definitely works with Topaz. Give it a shot. I already tried uploading this image onto Instagram already and it did not have the flag. If you like this video, leave your comments below and I'll be sure to answer you back right away. Have a good one, guys.